today I have another hair video for you guys. So I'm super excited because this is like right up my alley. I'm reviewing the ORS Curls Unleashed Moisturizing Beeswax Color Blast. So this is what it looks like. I haven't even opened it. Found this product from my mom. Um, believe it or not, my mom's not one to dye her hair red or anything crazy like that. But I'm guessing when she seen this product, she knew it was right up my alley. The color that I picked was Sangria. This is what it looks like. It's definitely not the biggest jar. It is six ounces. So I actually decided to order two. They were $7.99 each at Target. Um, and yeah, so today what I'm, what I've decided to do in this video is to apply it to my hair and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like over a course of how many ever days it actually lasts. Directions is wear gloves during application, take an adequate amount of color wax in your hand, using your fingertips, apply product to your hair, style as desired. I've already, um, prepped my hair, deep conditioned, washed and I have sectioned it into four sections. I'm not gonna lie, like I said, I'm super curious to see how this holds in my hair without actually putting anything in it because I'm used to putting a product in my hair. So we're just gonna go ahead and start the process and see. Um, so this is how it is. So I guess throughout this week, as I'm rocking this color, it has like a glimmery um, color on the gloves. Throughout this process this week, I think I might um, kind of let you guys know if I needed to put any kind of product in my hair because again, like curly hair girls, we know we have to touch up those curls. I guess switch up the color of their hair but not permanently so yeah I'm gonna keep applying it and I'm still doing if you watch my curly hair routine video I'm still doing my normal kind of routine to where I kind of shake it out and then I scrunch it up because um yeah I haven't applied any other product but this in doing the really well because I'm still in the first jar and I'm in, I mean, this would be half of my head after this section. Okay, so I have applied pretty much all of it. And honestly, guys, first thing I noticed is I still have some in the jar. So I probably could have went with one, but I'm so used to, um dyeing my hair in past years and needing like two, three, possibly four boxes to coat it. But it's also a thicker beeswax. I'm almost feeling like it can work as a styler because my hair, um, I mean, it is curling up like it naturally does now. So um, I'm really eager to see how it is dry. Hey guys, so I have applied it everywhere. I decided to blow dry because I don't like wet damp hair and it's on my hands but since I you know kind of started to scrunch it up a little bit and um blow dry it it has rinsed off super easily from my hands I will say definitely try not to chunk on the edges so much I found myself taking a rag and kind of cleaning up my edges because you see like right there I don't like that so I kind of was just taking it, scrubbing it. It does take off some of the color, but it's better than like the pink. So that's the one thing I definitely would advise you not to like stick it so much to your edges. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow dry. So this is the final look. My hair is pretty much completely dry. Um, and might I say, I actually like it more than I thought I was going to like it. Um, it has this metallic look to me. But things I've noticed so far is that, um, like I said in the beginning, it cleans up super easy. I mean, I had it all over me here. It was all on my forehead. It was all over my sink. Um, but it wipes up super easy, even curly hair girls. Um, it's definitely a harder cast. So it gives me like 
back in the day high school Britney when I used to have like these I would scrunch my curls with gel and it would be this they were so hard um so it does give a hard cast I will say um I've tried kind of like breaking them apart more uh but you know at the end of the day I'm not gonna lie to switch my hair up different for something temporary I definitely am feeling it it comes in a variety of colors and another thing is you don't have to do your whole entire hair. If you're just looking to have a pop of color, you know, throughout your hair by all means. But of course, I wanted to try a whole new color in my whole head. Um, so this is day one. I am going to kind of record and pop in throughout day two, three, and see after day three if there's a day four or five. So we're going to see how it, um, you know, how it lasts for the next the next few days and i'll definitely be keeping note of a couple of things for you guys um if it fades if it bleeds like on my pillow and i will continue to keep you updated on the color and how it works out and then the whole washing so out welcome process. to day two so i don't have any major plans today at all it is really gloomy and raining today um but i actually had to run to the store because i just wanted to give you guys some natural outdoor lighting um yesterday it was raining so i filmed in the bathroom and it was day one so i kind of just Going to give you guys um you know a glimpse of what it looks like on day two and outside and a couple things that um i noticed and actually my daughter noticed so one thing is my ends a little quite a bit of it has kind of shaken off so i don't know if you can really tell my ends are um blonder like you can see a little bit of it um coming through yeah like right there so this is what my shirt looked like yesterday um but um from you know what it seems like it'll wash out so i'm not really too concerned i have noticed that my curls have um softened up a lot In the beginning i felt like old school back in the day britney when i had those crunchy curls from just like a lot of gel and mousse um but day two um they actually have softened up much better um I, you know it is my first time using the product so it could be just because i use a good amount of the product yes, this is what day two is looking like and i mean needless to say i'm still enjoying just the color change you know it's temporary so day two is looking good um but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know how day two is rocking because i don't have any plan. welcome to day three so let me tell you i didn't sleep with my bonnet last night um uh, and yeah so this is the type of stuff right here that i need to like you know just touch up it's time i would definitely not apply it so close to my roots the way i did and i would kind of just keep it um where you have that it looks like you have that little bit of like new growth look the more i touch it the more it kind of just puts this powder um over your hands kind of bleeding down here but again i mean i just would not put it too close to your roots the way i did so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just bun it up and then i'm gonna go work out and i'll try to just freshen it up just a little bit and um hopefully the color won't fade welcome back and welcome to day four so let me start off by apologizing yesterday on day three I worked out, hung out with the kids, and I'm not going to lie, I did nothing with my hair. So it stayed in that little bun it was in for the rest of the day. So today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to just freshen it up um, and see, you know, how it does. I think I'm just going to use a little mousse because I, I don't, I can't really freshen it up too much without putting something in it just to tame a little bit of the fridge frizz here and then maybe um, give it just a little scrunch and... did do a little blow dry real quick but very brief literally maybe like 60 seconds um just because adding the mousse and like i was trying to show you guys in some of the video um it definitely comes out on your hands <laughs> i mean it's all over like my mousse bottle just to give the volume back some i've been sleeping on it for four days okay this is the first day i've actually attempted when i did it the first day i forgot to mention i i definitely used um some oil just to like loosen up that cast that it does create 
Um, as you can see, there's still some very frizzy pieces in there, but a lot of that is just my hair is naturally frizzy. I'm thinking so far, guys, is that um, today's day four. I'm feeling like this could last for a good week um, or up until you're actually ready to wash your hair. At this point, I'm thinking as long as I can get my curls nice and refreshed looking good because if it starts looking all tacky, of course, I'm going to wash it out. So other than that, guys, I will holler at you on day Welcome to morning nine. So, um, I literally just woke up. It's like eight o'clock in the morning and I have a lot to do today. So, one of the things I want to do is wash my hair. So, um, I think it was on day like four or five, I did mention that I felt like the color had faded a little bit, um, but it would possibly last just until you're ready to wash your hair out. So, I'm kind of to that point where I just don't like the feel of my roots and my curls so it's kind of like okay Brittany I think it's about time to just rinse you know wash it out um so that's what I'm about to do I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna wash my hair um and then I will be back with my honest review um, yes, and just like that I'm back to my natural hair color but might I say the washing out process was really easy yet because I did try the sangria it looked like a pure murder scene in my bathtub I mean the red is just draining it's all on my my hair done I done slap my hair this way I'm scrubbing my scalp super good because remember I did put more on my scalp than I really should have um so it was everywhere but needless to say that is one of the best things about this product is that it is super easy cleanup. So just like any other um, hair color you might put in your hair, it does bleed and fade a little bit. So it definitely faded over a couple of days, but nothing like so drastic where I was like, oh, this fading is like not cute, but it does bleed some. So I would kind of find it on um, my pillow a little bit, my towel if I'm washing my face or drying off. Do I recommend this product? A hundred percent yes. If you couldn't tell throughout the days, I was really feeling the sangria. Um, it lasted me for nine days and the only reason I washed it out was because um, I wasn't liking the way my hair was feeling after those days. Hey, I think it was day seven. I applied water to it. So I know the first day that I was actually touching my hair up, I kind of applied a little bit of mousse um, and it turned out really good. Then I didn't want to apply anything else just because the way my hair was taken to the product, and that is just one other thing, everybody's hair will probably take to the product a little differently and um, whether whatever color your hair actually is or whatever type of curls you actually do have. But I just felt like by the time I added that water in, mixed with the actual product and whatever the little bit of mousse i put in there it just wasn't having it they have some amazing fun colors um definitely if you're looking to switch up your color for only temporary if you don't want to use any chemicals in your hair and if you're like myself you're on a hair journey because i'm on this hair journey where i haven't dyed my hair in two years and for me that's kind of long well, that's really long because I normally dye my hair. I do a switch color like every March. And for the last two years, I haven't switched my color at all. So to finally come across something that I'm like, you know what? Let me see if it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I 100% um, cannot wait to try another color. So to anyone looking to switch up their color who doesn't want to use any chemicals um, and just looking for a good, honest review with the ORS Curls Unleashed Color Blast. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and until my next video.